Go ahead. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. As Charles was saying, we do have two types of programs. We have a seven-day emergency stay, and then we have a longer-term program called the SHIELD program. And it's uh, they need to have clearly defined goals and be willing to meet with me each week and work towards those goals. And uh, length of stay is just determined by how hard they want to work uh, towards meeting their own goals. Any questions? Are there any questions so far? Well, when they come in through that door, um, a lot of people have mixed feelings, mixed emotions. They don't know how they're going to be accepted. They don't know if they're going to be turned away. And we don't turn anybody away. We, we don't at all. And the great thing is when a person comes in, um, we, we, we have a fill out application. And uh, what, what is that called, AC? What kind of application is that? An intake. An intake, intake and an assessment. And what we try to do is we just try to find out what were the circumstances that brought them here and exactly how they'll need help and how we can direct them. We have a social service office over there and my office is over there. And during the emergency stay, we just kind of see, you know, what's going to happen and, and, and if they're serious about uh, working towards their goal in their life. And they see me for application into the program. So we just try to meet them at the point of need. And uh, if y'all want to, we can go back and, and see some of the rooms that some of the people get to stay in. That side is the men's side. This is the lady side, so since all of you are ladies, except for race, <laughs> uh, we're going to go back there. I still got to announce man on floor. We, we have people back there right now. We do have people there. But y'all come on back. Are you going back in the men's side? I can prepare them. Do you want to go back there, too? Not necessarily. No okay. pass. All right. <laughs> okay, now you just got that. All the ladies refused or objected to going to the yeah. men's side. Yeah. So we're going to the well-kept-up condition of ladies. over in the office, over in the office part. The ladies' bathroom is a lot messier than the men's bathroom. Uh-oh. Uh-huh. And uh, you think oh, there's like 27 beds on this side. So how would you like to have one restroom for 27 ladies? Yeah, we're mm -hmm. Could y'all manage that? Yeah. I can I if I had to. <laughs> Almost like a camp. Yeah. But um, this is our small family room, and we can house a, a single mother or a, or a married mother with uh, one or two small children. Uh, this is our emergency stay um, uh, room. We're allowed to stay seven days. Go come on back. This is the grand tour of the Salvation Army here in Fort Smith. Mm -hmm. The Shower of Blessings with 1027 The Vibe. Large family room. And uh, just really getting getting our life back on track, trying to uh, just trying to set goals for themselves. Uh, whether it's uh, graduating high school, college, uh, we Captain will tell you he's he has seen lawyers come through here, he has seen doctors come through here, uh, just because of the situations that they were in, and that they they just need help. Um, you know, sometimes we make bad decisions in our life, and we don't know where to go from there. And uh, well, that's what the Salvation Army is here to do: is to help people find their place in life, and to help them set goals in their life to. Uh, to gain better, bigger and better things. And uh, uh, we can go back out the, the way that we came in, and uh, and that's really it. We have a prayer room, and we also have the TV room. Uh, but the prayer room is, is focused mainly on, on people that um, just want to get more in tune with God. And, um, of course, we have the entertainment room with the TV, and people can um, uh, watch TV. Uh, we do have a lights out at, like, 9 o'clock. That way people have more structure in their life instead of just, you know, go to bed when you want, get up when you want. Uh, we get people up at 6 a.m. Um, I get up at 5 a.m., <laughs> so I'm not over here. Usually we have morning monitors that do that. But um, we get people up at 6, it's our breakfast, um, and then people have um, goals and things that they, they need to accomplish throughout the day, uh, whether it's um, going to get their GED, uh, going to work, and then come back in and our... Uh, time in is at 4, 4 p.m. and uh, from there we serve dinner at 6 unless it's a Sunday or Wednesday we serve at 5 and uh, and that's the great thing is you know we have a lot of structure here and we want people to have that structure in their life and uh, that's that's really it. Y'all have any questions? Comments? Do you require um, church services? We do on, on Sunday mornings. That, that is mandatory since they're staying with us. Mm -hmm. uh, Sunday night, though, is not mandatory, and Wednesday night is mandatory. We have men and women's um, 
um, programs mm -hmm. uh, that they can that they can join in. So, anything else? Any other questions? If there's a, a mother and child here, and the mother is working, what happens with her children? Okay. If well, she's got a job or doing something else. Can is that possible? We have actually we're, we're we are in joint forces with the. Um, Homeless child li liaison. I can't think of her name, but AC, AC, what's her name? Yes, sir. Who is it? The homeless child liaison. Oh, okay. The public school liaison. Uh, yeah, that's my yeah, name. Yeah, that's um, <laughs> Jeannie Carroll. I'm that's sorry. It. I keep wanting to call her Jeannie Cooper. Us from okay, in, in finding places, uh, it, like if the child is not in um, school yet, school yet mm -hmm. she, she helps us a whole okay, lot with that. Daycare and helping. With, okay. Yeah. And one of the things that's really neat about Jeannie is like if a if a family moves from the south side of town and mm -hmm. they're in a homeless shelter, she goes through, she's actually an employee of the public schools and she goes and she's able to arrange transportation if she has to do it himself so they can go to their same school. Okay. And that's a big thing for yeah, a child. Yeah, it mm -hmm. is, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. but, but here, you know, we allow them to, you know, they have a place to sleep, they have a place to take a shower, they have a place for a hot meal, and uh, we do all that in the name of Jesus because mm -hmm. that's, he said, if you do it to the least of these, you've done it unto me. And uh, that's what we're here trying to do. It's just trying to help the community um, through faith-based initiatives. So um, thank you for your time. AC, you got anything else? I don't know what you talked about. I've been back uh, here with Marlon. Uh, <laughs> we do try to meet people with a point of need, though. And uh, we, d we can arrange um, through the public school liaison to help them with child care so that the mother can work. So you know, we try to find out the obstacles and, and do what we can with our resources. We try to network within the community. So that's, that's pretty much it. Okay. I hope that helps. Do you have any other questions? High five, brother. All right. Yeah. Right on. And one of the things mm -hmm. about, you know, you've probably heard in the, in the paper about the new homeless campus mm -hmm. and in the next year or two, maybe up to two years, we're going to be moving to a new shelter. The great thing about that is we will be able to keep the family intact because we'll have that each of the family members will have their own bathroom and shower. And, and it's really important because families, and especially kids, are scared and they want to be with mom and dad. Mm -hmm. So that will really help. You see how we're bunched in in here, so we just try to do the best we can. It's a lot better than the street. It absolutely is. That's, oh why these yeah. that's why these shelter showers are so important, mm -hmm. is to let the community know, hey, this is the needs we have. Uh, can you please help us uh, meet meet those obligations, meet those requirements mm -hmm. to help families out? So we sure can't do this on our own. No. It takes the whole it takes the whole river valley to help us. So. Don't sure reply it. <laughs> You're just doing a good job representing. Oh,